situation, Lord God. Break yokes this morning, Lord God. Deliver, Lord God. Heal this morning, Lord God. Oh, we just bless you on today, Lord God. We magnify you for being who you are, for being what you are in our lives, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for the word that will go forth on today, Lord God, that it would touch souls, Lord God. We thank you in advance for the many connections, Lord God, that we will have this morning, Lord God. Oh, we bless you and we magnify you for the man and the woman serving of this house, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you would be and exceed every need, Lord God. Oh, we just bless you on today, God. I thank you, Lord God, for your strength, Lord God, that you give when we don't have it. I thank you, Lord God, for your healing, Lord God, of the mind, Lord God, when Satan wants to have his way. Oh, Lord God, I just thank you on today for the power of prayer. Thank you, God, for the power of prayer. I thank you for the power of family, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, for new kingdom Christian ministries on today, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that today souls would be saved. That we would touch those that don't know you to say, Lord. We give you all the honor, all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 This morning, yeah, 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 yeah. you know when the Holy Ghost has yeah, his way, yeah, yeah. just let go and let yeah, God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Isaiah 41 10. It reads as such the message version. Don't panic. I'm with you. There's no need to fear. For I'm your God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady. Keep a firm grip on you. A few announcements on this morning. We welcome those that have joined us on High Kingdom. We thank you. We ask that you do not make this your last time coming to worship with us. And we pray that something you have seen or heard has touched your heart today. We will continue to have donations for soup for soul, soup for soul. Let's give it up for the spirit that went to this house. Matthew 25, Matthew 25. Our pastor, he has a heart for people. He has a heart for community. He has a heart for just, he's a good man. He's just a good man. He's a great pastor. And we just thank you for him. We thank you for his spirit. We are reaching people. They were out until the wee hours of the morning, and yet we are here this morning to continue to sow into you this morning. Amen. So we want to give our pastor a hand clap for him. Amen. We are honored to be here this morning. Amen. We thank you. We thank you. To subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe for that. We are still taking donations as well for hats, scarves, gloves, hats, if you have coats as well. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
we need him right now. Lord, we need you every second, every minute, every hour. We need you. Lord, we need you. Hallelujah. Would you give God praise? Come on, right in your house. Come on. Make your house a sanctuary. Come on. Make your house a sanctuary. Do the favor. Right in your house. Listen, last year we talked about everything leads to the altar. We talked about everything leads to the altar. And listen, right in your house, make that your altar. Come on and give God praise right at your altar. For seven seconds, let your praise reflect this goodness. Come on, come on, right in your house. Into your house, let your praise. If the Lord has done everything for you, if the Lord has done way for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. What an awesome God we serve. Angels bow before him. Thank you. Heaven and earth adore him. God for you, for those of you who are involved. And I'm hoping you have an opportunity uh, to like, share, and invite. Listen, don't be a secret agent. No, 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 don't be a secret agent. Don't be a secret agent. Come on, let people know that you love Jesus Christ. If you can, would you share? Come on, if you can, would you share? We're going to get in and out of your way. This year has been deep tagged connection. Would you help somebody connect to Jesus Christ? And so we said this year, the way to connect, we're going to go from connect with God, connect with family, and then later connect with church. Connect with God, connect with family, connect with church. So the first one right out the gate is connect with God. But before you can connect to anybody else, Giorgio, Giorgio. Before we can connect with anybody else, we have to be sure, most important, we're connected with God. If I can get at least three people and I'll make them before, some people it's hard to love. Oh, okay. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Lean in, Takasha. Some people it's hard to love, but with God. says, and they would know me by the love they have one with another. So our foundational scripture for today, we haven't forgotten communion. It's coming. We're going to slip it in in just a couple seconds. Our scripture for today is some feedback. Our scripture for today, uh, Minister Dom introduced us to it last week. I hope y'all enjoyed him last week. I gave him a message that was all mine, so I God bless him. So, John 15, verse 5. John 15, verse 5. The word of the Lord reads on this Bible. Your Bible should read. Come on, get your Bible, Tisha. Get your Bible. I know it's 7.30 in Vegas. Come on. The word of the Lord says, yes. New Living Translation. I am the vine. I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me, those who remain connected to me and I connected to them will produce much fruit. Somebody say much fruit. But apart from me, Come here, come here, come here. Disconnected from me, you can do nothing. Come on, come on. Did you, you read that? I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I am them. I am connected to them. That's the only way you can produce much fruit. The way to be connected with God. We're talking about being connected to God first and foremost. 
We've got to be connected with Christ. Because Giorgio said, Pastor, this is going to be a hard one. Giorgio said, this is going to be a hard one because it's hard to connect with people I don't like. Mm. Are y'all saying anything at home? But they said nothing here. Come on, come on. Back in the day, we would say, amen, walls. And literally, we were saying, amen, to the walls. So, so it's hard to love, even get along, even be around some people. But with Christ, with Christ, you can love the unlovable. Okay, with Christ. That, that's the key word, with Christ. So, so there are three ways that we must connect with God. One is communication. Come on, come on, come on, come on, type it, type it. Communication. The next one is commitment. Yeah. One is communication. Next one is commitment. And then thirdly, communion. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. In order to connect with God, in order to be connected with Christ, we have to be connected by way of communication, by way of commitment. You got to be committed. Not just talk to him when you want something from him. Not, not just talking to him when things are going wrong. Not just talking to him when um, you are trying to play the lottery and you need the numbers. Not, not just talking to him when your friends don't want to talk to you. Talking to him all the time. Teach, teach, Pastor. And then you got to be committed. Doesn't matter what come, doesn't matter what go, doesn't matter who come, doesn't matter who go. You got to be committed. Have a committed relationship with him. Yes, yes. I'm yes. And then he tells us, as often as you do so. Come on. Yeah. As often as you do so, you do it in remembrance. That word remembrance, Bishop. We, we think that word is just a, to remember him in our mind. That, that's not the case. When he was on the cross, they dismembered him. That they broke his body. That they poured the ligaments and his him, him bones were broken. And so he says, when you commune, you do so in remembrance. Watch this. Reconnecting. Great God from Zion. I'm teaching better than they respond. You teach it. You, can you say something? Can you say something? Amen. I'm going to say something. I'm going to stop touching me. Watch this. Watch this. We're having an omission. Stop. Watch this. Watch this. Come here. Come here. He says, he says, do so in reconnection. So they dismembered his body. So we have to remember his body. So but when you say reconnect, I'm sorry. When you say we reconnect and we reconnecting with him during communion, you have to stay connected after that though. Amen. That's true. Go commitment. Yes. Committed to stay connected. So once you are reconnected to him each first Sunday when we're doing communion. You have to stay connected, and you do that by staying committed to him. And, and, and remind me, um, okay, I like the benefits of going to the dentist. I like, I like the benefit of going to the dentist. Because I, I, like, I, like, I like a pretty smile. So, 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 but here's the problem. If I have an appointment Thursday, I mean, if I got an appointment Thursday, Tuesday and Wednesday, you know what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm brushing really hard. <laughs> As if to think uh -huh. that when I get there, they don't think that. So all year. <laughs> so watch this. To, they think. In my mind, if I brush real hard for the next two days, <laughs> with, when I go there, they don't think that I've been doing it. But my dentist, uh, Mr. Moore, uh -huh. have, have you been flossing? Often? 
or they, or, or they do this, they do this, they do this, uh, they, they ask a question, and watch this, and they already, uh, so watch this, going to God when things are wrong is just like trying to brush your teeth before you go to the dentist. You have to be committed. You, you got to be committed in talking to him. You got to be committed in fellowshipping with him. You cannot just say, okay, I got a bill due next week, so I'm going to go to church. I got I to gotta go to court next month, so for this month. So, so it has to be a level of commitment. Yes. Consistency, consistency as well. That's another C. Consistency. Yes. I told you to stop touching. So watch this. Watch this. So, so, so let's, let's, let's. Not right now. I ain't trying. We're going to go from love to love connection. Come on, come on. Watch this. So watch this, watch this. As often as you do so, so come on, get your community, get your bread and your juice. Come on, come on, right in the middle, I know, right in the middle of service, right in the middle of sermon. Right in the middle, come on, get your mini Shabbos. Get your Merlot. I know what they got at home. He says, know those that labor amongst you. I know what Sheila got. And then do this. Even at home, if you don't have nothing but water. Come here, come here, come here, come here. The miracle did not happen until after the water began to come out. That's a whole other message. So, today, as we get ready to enter into this fast, another way of getting connected with Christ, getting connected to God is, watch this, in order to connect to God, you got to disconnect from yourself. Uh, come here, come here, come here. Lean in, lean in, child of God. Frankie, where you at? Frankie, come here, come here. In order, I saw that people that crazy. Watch this. In order to connect with God, you have to disconnect from your own will. In order to connect with God, you gotta disconnect from your own feelings. So it's saying to die to self mm. every day. You need to die to yourself, meaning your flesh. And that's part of the fasting. Even though we don't do fasting every day, but you have to die to self. Yes, well. yes, yes, yes. So for those who are serious about this, connecting with Christ. We're going to reconnect. Back in the day, back in the day, we were crazy. We didn't know what we were doing, really did not. Bishop, remember, because you part, you part, okay, you know about this. Back in the day, we were talking about covenant but didn't know what it was. By way of, anybody remember talking about blood sisters? Yeah. Blood brothers? Yeah. Yeah. And we would cut ourselves. That's right. Y'all yeah. come on somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you bring it back, back. We, we would cut ourselves. And we had the nasty audacity <laughs> to exchange. Y'all, come on, come on. We would exchange blood.
blood. And we will say this. We are forever connected. Because we exchange. We exchange blood. Because I gave you something that only God gave me. Something that is unique to me. Now, God, we can't do that now. Oh, no. We will just fist bump now. We will be connected by fist, elbow, or non head. Oh, our word. Because what's interesting, I can't trust your blood. I can't trust your blood. Because, watch this, when they want to do a toxicology or they want to see, watch this, how much alcohol you've been drinking, yeah. how much drugs you've been consuming, yeah. they do a blood alcohol test. And when they want to determine, oh, Maury, come here, come here, Maury. When they want to determine if that's your child, they say we gotta do. We gotta do a dinner test. That dinner test is that it comes back. Um, Ninety-nine. Point nine percent. That's your baby. I got a question. If there was a DNA test done in heaven, I got a question. Who's your dad? I'm about to run around this place. And I wonder if just like on life, y'all remember the movie Life? That's one of my favorite of all time. I didn't make that. Will Jesus be able to step up and say, I'm the daddy? Why? Because we are connected. We, we can remain connected as often as you do so. You do so and reconnect the of me. They Hung them high. He stressed them wide. He hung them. Oh, shut up. And they broke him. And he's asking one question. They broke me. Tim, they broke me. After they broke me, they dismembered me. He said, will you do me a favor? Will you do me a favor? Will you put me in my mind?
Chair, I can picture myself that uh, everybody else ran away. But I stood there at the foot of the cross. Said, I don't mind being associated with you. I'm guilty. So I hold my cup up at the foot of the cross as the blood. As the blood. I'm moving my cup as the blood is dripping from his body. That's another trouble. Yeah, yeah, I see. Hey, that's another trouble. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to waste time because I need, I need it. Yeah. Uh, it reaches. Oh, you boy, put my seatbelt on. 
Might I suggest, oh, you boy bishop, the reason why some churches like us, why we can't grow at a rapid speed, is because we're looking for seedful members. It's easy to go to a place where you don't have to have any seeds. And in, in, in other words, there is, there, you got the fruit of the Spirit, but there, there's some fruit of the Spirit. There's some fruit of the flesh that has no seeds. So, so, so we have some seedless vendors. So they want less process, but more productivity. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. And so, in other words, this seed that has been produced, wrote, great God from Zion. Mm -hmm. Sam, it was never connected to the vine. It was never connected to the vine. So there are some believers who they may look like a believer, but they were never connected to the vine. Uh, we have to make sure that there is fruit yes. in our lives. Yeah. Church lady, what's here? Church lady, church lady. What, what, what's, what's the, what's the? <laughs> she been saved like her whole life. She got baby pictures. <laughs> Leave her alone. Okay, bye. <laughs> so, so, but like every time, like we, like you know, we got like memories. And like, what's that challenge now? Being a male? The second, you had like a million challenges. Okay. So she got one of the challenges. Her picture, she put up a picture where she was dressed as a church baby. So I always, you know, I thought this was Thomas. I was like, okay. I said, you got, you know, you got the then and now pictures. So I got pictures when I was in the club. I get to look back and see what God had bought me from. Watch this. I get to see evidence of being connected to the vine. But listen. I just want to take her out of town. Just, I'm trying to take her out of town to go to the club. She there praying. Um, 
When you are connected to Christ, you got to disconnect from something else. So that's as we enter this fast. In order to connect from something, you got to disconnect from something else. So what have caused you to disconnect from Christ? Who has caused you? Because I believe some of us in the body of Christ, we have just become comfortable with having God's hand on us. We have gotten so complacent with having his hand on us versus us being in his hands. Okay, okay, all right. So much, so much. Come here, baby. Come here, come here. You got over. What you got over? Hands. Uh, <laughs> all right, come here, baby. Pray for me what I'm about to do. All right, watch this. All right, all right come here, come here, come here. This is my daughter. This baby, baby got to put stuff out there. I can't use my other daughter because she, she, she's a little bigger. So watch this, watch this. Watch this. There's a difference. There's a difference when God has his hand on you. All right? So, do, do me a favor. Just, just, just walk around. Just, just walk. So watch this. What are we going first? Right. Just go. Just walk. All right. So watch this. We are walking and God's hand is upon us. All right? And so in the body of Christ, we've gotten so complacent with his hands being on us. But watch this. When his hand is upon you, you can use your own mind to go where you want to go. God comes out here. It's called free will. <laughs> but watch this. There are some others who I don't just want his hand upon me. I want to be in his hands. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Alright. So there's a difference when his hand is upon you. But 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 Alright. Alright. So I had to use wisdom. Yes. Because in my mind, in my mind, I can lift her up and then add Sam in my mind. But when the spirit come in, and the spirit do this, so, 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 I said, Lord, I just don't want your hand upon me. Okay, okay, watch this. Lord, I want to be. Uh oh. I want to be in your hands. Because if I'm in your hands, wherever you lead me, listen, watch this. Not my will, but thine will be done. In other words, Lord, Yea, though we walk through the valley. Yeah. Listen, I can go, listen, as long as he's carrying me. I feel like preaching with my baby in my arms. As long as I'm in his arms. Is there even a body here who knows as long as I am in his hands? No matter what comes, no matter what goes, he got me. Now watch this. She's comfortable. Because she know I'm not going to go with me. I'm in my daddy's hands. He's going to make sure that no matter what, even if he got to shift the load.
just that time. Because watch this. In the Bible, in Genesis, I'm tired now. Watch this. Come on, put that in with some music. Watch this. Okay, Genesis. In Genesis, when Adam and Eve was in the garden, I should pick you up, but don't you can cut it Watch this. When Adam and Eve was in the garden, he placed them in the place called Eden. And in Eden, he had everything in his hands. Because the Bible says that he went and picked up some dirt and he started to form man. And when he formed man, he kissed him. And he breathed breath into him. And he told him, listen, you go out and you do this. You do that. But whatever you do, don't. Don't get out of. Don't get out of my hands. And so watch this, watch this. While they were in his hands, they decided. We want to try stepping out because that's the problem. We get so much knowledge, the tree of knowledge, the power of society, we got so much knowledge now, but no wisdom. And then they got out of his hands. And when they got out of his hands, the Bible says that he placed them outside of the garden. <laughs> and what I like about the text, Pastor Sheriff, when he placed them outside the garden, I begin to think, that's a bad place to be. Because when they were outside the garden, they was outside of his protection. But the Bible says this, and when they were outside, he placed his now some of us have gotten so comfortable with just his hands on us. Yes, yes. But I don't know about you, I don't just want his hands on me. Right. I want to I want to relax. Yes, yes. I want to relax because my daddy got me. Yes. My daddy got me. Because no matter what come, no matter who come, I'm in his hands. Because the Bible says, <laughs> he got all things in his hands. He got the little bitty baby in his hands. He got the great relationship. You can make up in your mind, but get out of his hands. Lord, carry me. Lord, carry me. Lord, carry me. That's a song we used to sing. One of the songs, LB, young song, to the words fell off. Thank 
a way to connect to God is disconnecting from your desires. And that's what a fast does. I'm disconnecting from what I really like, what I desire. And so we gave you the template of the fast. And it's up to you to add to, add to it that which you know that you need to do. So we got the fast starting at 6 o'clock today. Y'all need to put that in his hands too. <laughs> Starting at 6 p.m. When it seems like it's too hard, I'm going to put that. So the fast, the fast, the first week starting today yeah. is no, no beef, beef, and no beef, and no pork. And no pork. Yes. Ah, I'm going to put it in your hands. Starting next Sunday, no beef, no pork, no chicken. The third week, no beef, no pork, no chicken, no fish. And then you add to it. I just gave you the template. You know, the template, the, the, the Lord's prayer, that's just the template when we start off. But at some point, you build around that prayer. We suggest that you go back and look at our Bible study from Wednesday. Yeah. It tells you how to prepare. You know, today is here, but you still have time to prepare. You still have time to prepare. I, uh, I'm thinking about, I need, like, uh, well, imagine this. Imagine this, if you will. Giorgio, come here. Giorgio, Giorgio, put that chicken sandwich there. Giorgio. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, in order to build a cross, you can't build it horizontal first. You can't build it horizontal first. The problem we make in church is that we try to build a relationship with church first. You try to build a relationship with friends and co-workers and you don't have no, no foundation. You have to build a vertical relationship first. Because watch this. That determines the strength and the load of what's able to hold horizontally. The problem is that we got our cross going like this because we have a three foot vertical relationship, but we try to have a 10 feet horizontal relationship. And the Bible declares, he knows how much. And he's saying, Build the foundation with me first. Yes. Yes. Because watch this, Georgia, Georgia, yo, put that pork chop down. Georgia, yo. Georgia, yo. I can't, I don't know if I can do that, Pastor, because I got people I don't like. I got some people that I, I can't. But watch this. When you are connected, Sometimes we gotta say, Lord, make sure that my horizontal relationship is not more powerful than my vertical. Because that's how some people like this, they, they shaky. They, they unstable because your foundation in Christ is weak. Oh, it's not deep enough. Yes. Told you one time I was looking and they were they were building this building and uh down on Belvedere Broad and for the longest time they spent more time going down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
God comes out. They spent more time going down, Miranda, because they wanted to make sure no matter what I put on it, it'll hold. Watch this. And not only do I want it to make sure that it holds the structure. I need it to hold everybody that enters the building. Yeah. It has to hold everybody that enters your life. Yeah. <sighs> Not just your life. But you gotta make sure that your vertical is strong enough that whoever come, you ain't gonna hold it. Yeah. Yeah. But then you also gotta make sure, one of the things, Dr. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but don't correct me openly. Make sure I know what I'm talking about. That's not Bishop, you've opened a building before. And before, John, you can have anybody in your building. Pastor Sherry, the inspector got to come. And brother, the inspector, not only do they come to inspect the foundation, they come to inspect the structure. And then before they leave, they can tell you how many people, how many people can occupy this space. So during this fast, while you're connecting with them, ask the Lord, how many people? Might I suggest that was a down on Carey Street. I don't care street. It was in the news my last year, so there were people who were on the balcony. Yeah. No, 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 no. In Virginia Beach. Yeah. I got a better one. I like this one better. There were people, they, they rented an Airbnb. Uh -huh. Come in, come in, come in. Come, come in. And what they did. They rented the house, and the problem is they didn't know the occupancy of the house. And what they did, they had a party. And when they had a party, the whole floor collapsed. Whole floor collapsed. Because it was too many people. Come here, come here, come here, Might I suggest the reason you collapsed? That's good. Might I suggest you broke down now because you, you, and then watch this, what they had to do, they had to put an orange sticker on them. They had to abandon the building. Nobody else can come in until they fix the foundation. Yeah, not, not, not. No, no, nobody else can come in. Until they begin to rebuild. Yes. I think doing this fast, you need to put everybody out. Yes. 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 Hey, hey, doing this fast. Yes. You gotta tell somebody I'm overloaded. Yes. I got, I got, I'm thugged down. I got too many people. Yes. And I just heard from the inspector. Yes. And he told me I got too many people in my life. And you have to begin to look around. Yeah. And you gotta do a reset. Yeah. You gotta find out who's essential. Yeah. What's essential? Yeah. And who's on your team? Yeah. Because everybody on your roster now on your team. I learned this a long time ago. Everybody that you can count, you can't count on. I might be able to count you, but I cannot count on you. Doing this fast. This is a reset. You didn't really catch the first one. Let me tell you, I, I was I was I was at 
I was at uh, yeah, my knees. The way my knees were set up, in my mind, I could stay that the whole day. I feel the occupancy low, I feel the occupancy low. Watch this. Yesterday I had to make a decision. I had taken on an assignment. Come on now. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I had taken on an assignment that I thought I wanted to do. But every time I turn around, that, so that opportunity was in front of my assignment. Yes, sir. Come on. You have to learn, thank you, sir. Watch this, I'm gonna help somebody. Watch this. Every opportunity is not an assignment. Amen. Amen. I had to make a decision yesterday. Am I gonna stay here? And have to keep making excuses? Why I'm here? I got something I'm supposed to be doing. I, I have ministry I gotta be doing, but I had money on my mind. All right. And the Lord asked me this. Is it essential? Wow. Wow. So right in the middle of my shift, I text him. I gotta go. What happened? Is not essential. I had to walk away from something I thought I needed because I got out of his hands and asked him, you come with me. So I started to lead him and not him leading me. I had to lead by example. Do you really trust him? Do you really trust him? Do you trust him enough to walk away from your own will? How much is your assignment really worth? Hallelujah. I am the Bible. You're the branch. If you are connected to me and I am connected to you, you'll bear much fruit. Apart from me. You'll just be spinning your wheels in mud, going nowhere. Make sure you're not a seedless saint. Just looking good, looking appealing, but you have no substance. You just look good, but ain't no good. You gotta be careful trying to get what's organic. You gotta be careful with all this new stuff that's trying to take the place of the true stuff. As we get connected, there's another Bible verse I think it's in John 17 somewhere. John 17, 5, 15, somewhere 23, 21. When he says, Lord, make them connected as you and I are connected. Make them one. So when we say the Lord's Prayer, that's really the Lord's Prayer. That's the prayer he prayed. You got that verse? Yes. It says that they all may be one. That they all may be one. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us. Mm. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Not only do I want them to get, he don't just want us to be connected with each other. Because what happens, that just becomes a members only club. But he says, but Lord, he didn't just stop it. Lord, let them be connected. He says, make them connected with us so that they can believe that they
they can believe. Let's pray. Father, our Father, our God, we pray. We pray for connectivity. Lord, there are some of us who've been disconnected from the vine. And because we're disconnected, we have no seeds. Because we know that seeds produces more fruit. And we haven't produced because we have no seeds, because we have no connection. Lord, we want to be connected. Connect us, God. But we're not asking just for you to connect with us. We want to connect with you as you and the Father are connected. Forgive us, God, for jumping out of your hand and doing, going our own way, doing our own thing. We pray now, God, that as we enter into this fast to connect even more with you, we pray, God, for your, your guidance because we're connected. We pray for your help because we're connected. We pray for your deliverance because we're connected. We pray for your strength because we're connected. We pray for your peace because we're connected. Yeah. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. We gonna say amen and connection. Amen, amen. and connection. Listen, we, we said that this month we're not even gonna open the doors of the church. Now watch this. We're not gonna ask you to connect with us, but if you decide, you know what, even in this time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect with y'all, even if you don't ask, listen, you make that decision, but we're not going to extend the connection. You can decide if you want to be connected. So you can just type the word connected. I want to be connected. I want to be connected to the church. And here's another way to connect. You can connect your seed with us so that we can continue to connect with the community. We can continue to connect with the least, the lost, and the left out. We can continue to connect to where Jesus is. He says, well, you've done unto them. Unto the least of them, you've done unto me. So last night to midnight, we had Matthew 25 at midnight. We were connected with the least of the lost and the left out. We ran out of clothes. We ran, almost ran out of soup. Thank you. Thank you, Wanda, for the soup. Thank you, Diane, for the soup. Thank you, my sister Michelle, for the chili. That was the chili. Hey, thank you. I thank you for our outreach team. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Man, so thank you for those who are making ministry mobile, ministry possible. So that they can see the seeds. They can see Christ. They don't care how much you know. They want to know how much you care. We're showing them because of our connection with Christ. We care for you. So, hey, you got here's, here's offer time. Come on, don't, 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 don't. Don't, 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 don't. It's CD giving time. Your seed can connect with us so that we can connect with the outside. What we do on Sundays is not what we're purpose to do. Yes. What we did last night is our purpose. To be a beacon of light and symbol of hope in our community, in our city. Amen. And at some point in our commonwealth and in our country. But right now, he's giving us right now our city to go and be a blessing to. Would you help us? Come on, your, your seed allows us to do so. Thank you. I pray now, God, as I lift my hands, as it were, towards your people. I pray over that seed right now. God, you know the heart of the giver. I pray, God, an increase based upon the measure of the giver. You say you'll bless us according to the measure of our heart of giving. So, God, if we give bountifully, we thank you for the blessing that will come bountifully. But God, we give sparingly, cheaply. That's where our blessings come as well. Your word says that. We didn't say it, God. So God, we bring your word back to you. So Father, I pray now that you meet us at our greatest need because we gave you our greatest gift. It is in Jesus, the soon coming Savior, we pray. Amen. Come on, boys, give it time. Come on, you give. You give. You thank you. We thank you for logging in. Thank you for tuning in. Man, we thank you for coming in and getting connected. The fast starts at 6 o'clock. Right before the Super Bowl. Listen, one of the things I, if you heard the list, one of the things that we said was chicken, beef, pork, fish, 
the right chicken beef was more for the fish. We did not mention turkey. We did not mention turkey. We did not mention turkey. It's bad when the church trying to find a workaround because they not connected. At Amber, I just heard the Lord say, add shrimp to yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can't get away from it, but you can get away from you. Come on, come on. And then also, understand this. Some things we fast from, they'll go back to. It's not to take a break from it. Some things we got to break up from. I'm about to stop before I keep on going. I have a little bit of time. And thank you guys. I thank God for the team who made their way through the snow this morning to make sure you get Will you at home give God praise for the best team? Come on! Until Wednesday, we'll see you on Wednesday. Get connected.